back to my kitchen today we're gonna do a smoothie using pumpkin papaya oatmeal and some spices to make a nice milky creamy smoothie so stay tuned don't go anywhere stay right there stay tuned don't go anywhere so guys I have my pumpkin that I took out the seeds I see it so I'm gonna cut it up just with some rough chops with the skin to get it ready I'm gonna boil it with some spices and cinnamon and nutmeg so just some rough chops nothing fancy just some rough chops so we're gonna add it to some water i have on boiling there we go so we're gonna take it with a little nutmeg some nutmeg so the guys the pumpkin is boiling away with the spices the cinnamon the nutmeg and then when it's cooked we will take it to the blender and blend it I leave on I left on the skin so that you can you know, to get all the nutrients and the nutrition just be just under the skin the nutrients just be right so guys, the pumpkin has already been cooked, so I am going to strain the liquid and reserve it to add to this smoothie. Okay, so we're going to get out the liquid and we're going to reserve it, even all the, the, the um, debris, all the cinnamon and the nutmeg to add to the smoothie. So we have our pumpkin here, and then we have the liquid there. We're going to add the pumpkin to the blender. It's a little hot, so you have to be careful when you're adding it to the blender. Normally, I will leave it to cool, but because of time, we'll use it for the moment. I'm going to add some cold milk to help cool down the, the pumpkin. So add some cold milk along with the liquid that the pumpkin was boiled into. And then I'll add some more cold milk. So guys, I have some powdered milk here that I mix also for cream powdered milk. I'm going to add this also to the blender to help cool the pumpkin down. So I'm going to cover the blender now and put it on low and... and then I will increase to high. I'm going to add the apoya. And again, I'm going to flavor it with about two teaspoons of, oh, I make a mess, of vanilla essence. About two teaspoons of vanilla essence. I made a mess guys. Let's just clean that mess up. And we're gonna blend once we So at this point now we're gonna add some more milk. It's a little thick, do be thick from the papaya and the pumpkin and some sugar, about a quarter cup of sugar. And then we have some oats that is soaked, so we will add the soaked oats. And I'm going to do my final blend. Some ice. I need a little flour, but ice just 
I'm gonna add some cinnamon and uh, some garlic, some, sorry, <laughs> some nutmeg. Could you imagine putting garlic in this? Ugh. Some nutmeg, add a little nutmeg in it. And you can add these things to your desire, to your taste, to your own likeness. So, then we're gonna do our final blend. to get your favorite glass with your ice now you can chill it and then you so we're gonna pour it out and that's it guys so this is it guys mm. delicious delicious it's nice it's creamy it is a nutmeg and the nice spices in it. Nothing really overpowering. It's really good. I can taste the papaya and a little hint of pumpkin. It's not really too overpowering, a mild flavor. So guys, you can try it at home. You can add your own other vegetables or fruits. You can add your carrots, you can add bananas, even avocado to make it even creamier. So thank you for viewing and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Leave a comment if you like. So, bye-bye.